I know a lot of you kids out there probably have a lot of homework to do, so I'm gonna make a video to help you learn stuff and do good in school. That way you have more time to watch videos. Today's subject is George Washington. George Washington is often called the father of our country. That's because he didn't have any children of his own and the founding fathers felt bad for him. They couldn't give him any real kids though because George Washington always carried a sword and swords should be kept away from children. George Washington was the first president. This is because he's on the one dollar bill. See? They figured, well, he's already on the money, so who else are we going to get to be the president? The end. It's not the end, I thought of more stuff. George Washington owned a plantation. That's like an old fashioned word that means big farm where plans are made. George Washington was always making plans. It's true, he left them all over the place. On his farm, people would always find little scraps of paper that said things like, I think I'll paint the barn tomorrow, or I should harvest these and eat them, or that pig kind of looks like an old man. I think I'll dress him up in a white beard and take him to get his library card. George Washington was over six feet tall, but everyone else was way shorter back then, so that would be like someone being 30 feet tall today. 30 feet is almost as tall as the building the judge told my brother he had to stay in every weekend for six to 18 months with time off for good behavior. Some people think that George Washington had wooden teeth, but it's not true. His teeth were made of ivory. From a hippopotamus. George Washington had hippopotamus teeth. Can you imagine what life would be like with hippopotamus teeth? Mm. It would be hard to be president with hippopotamus teeth, but George Washington did it, and that's why he's a great man. George Washington was a dancer. Seriously, he was a really good dancer. Watch. Go, Georgie. 